All right, we're here in Boca Raton, Florida. We're doing a little two-stop journey here. First stop, we're here, the client's house. We're doing a VIP drop-off. I got a 116588 SACO, which is a very amazing piece. One of my favorite Daytonas that they've ever released. It's the Oyster Flex with the orange sapphires. Absolutely amazing piece. He's gonna be super pumped. And after, we're gonna head over to our friend Mavericks and we're gonna go on his Midnight Express got some watches with us we're gonna do some shoots uh, a little boating could be a fun day all right we're here on the 43 midnight express i brought a case full of grails that i thought would go very well with this boat one of my first times on a boat like this one of the first things that sticks out to me as soon as i got on the boat it's very modern it's sporty it feels very exotic and then as soon as we got going in the boat it was extremely fast probably one of the fastest boats i've ever been on so with that being said if I were to pair up one of these watches with the boat, I'm kind of tossed between the RM35 and this Patek Philippe Nautilus. I picked these two because I feel like just the modern technology tied to RM kind of goes hand in hand with this boat. This boat has carbon fiber all throughout the whole entire premise here. With RM, there's the NTPT, super light material. This one in particular is ceramic. It's super light. It's not going to cause a lot of heat, especially on a hot day like today. And a nice rubber strap it's roughly 70 grams and i just feel like it's a very sporty watch that goes super well with the boat and then behind it since we're out at sea is the 5711 white i feel like it's one of the best boating watches pretty much in general this one's also super light drapes on the wrist perfectly i feel like it complements the white on the boat along with this 35 this also has red accents yellow goes nicely with the red those are my two mark just looking at this case what do you think that you would go with going on this boat yes yeah, so i'm going to agree with you uh first and foremost if i'm on the water I'm going with a rubber strap. I know I might be a little bit biased, but a rubber strap is perfect for the water. It's waterproof, it's lightweight, it's sporty. If you sweat, it's a little bit better. So my pick from this box would be either this RM or that Aquanaut. The reason for the RM, I agree with your point 100%. Uh, this is a very modern boat, kind of flashy. And, you know, a Richard Mill is kind of a modern, high-tech sort of watch. And this is kind of a modern, high-tech, very sporty boat. It's a very sporty watch, obviously. This is a very sporty boat. Or I would go with the Aquanaut. I think the Aquanaut is very on brand for being on the water. Mm -hmm. And this particular one with the orange strap and the orange accents, you know, it's uh, it's very tropical. It's very fun. And if you're on a boat, life is good, right? Mm -hmm. So I think it's, it's just a good vibe watch. It's a very, it's like a beachy watch to me. Yeah. And it just fits being out of the water. One thing about the RM that might make it tough is with this being a midnight express, obviously you could be traveling upwards of 70 knots. If you fall in the water with this watch on, you might be in trouble. You might be paying a very large amount and it might ruin the watch completely. So it, depending on what we're doing, I have to go with what you said, the Aquanaut. It's literally called an Aquanaut because it's made pretty much very for a situation like this. The Nautilus, that as well. My one issue with the 5968 here is it is a little bit heavy it's 90 with 100 percent humidity so i would like something a little bit lighter so something on strap i agree with mark 100 percent. maybe this daytona here the the yellow gold meteorite and then the 5711 i think is one of the best bracelets known to the watch industry in general super light sleek literally butter on the wrist so i'd go with those depending on what we're doing on the boat yeah even this offshore which royal look offshore is also sure it's, uh, it's on brand yeah even this all gold one on a rubber strap i'm sweating a lot it's heavy mm -hmm. you know so something lightweight something sporty if you're gonna go the richard miller out yeah don't jump in the water with it not a good idea agreed i'd say that the richard mill is great for what we're doing just chilling hanging out maybe going on some sort of more modern yacht so i just feel like it binds perfectly together with this the interior colors on this boat just the overall tech just walking through it if you're not familiar with a boat like this it's pretty much top of the line in terms of center consoles with how fast it goes the distance you can go i mean it's big enough to where i think that you probably fit roughly like 20 people i'm on a real big yacht and i'm not going to the water. well it's waterproof but I'm just gonna go with the day date with the guest. Yeah, just fly. Or it depends. If you're Charles Leclerc, you could go out in the middle of the ocean with a watch like this. Hey, maybe we'll do this in this shoot. I just have to keep the watch out of the water. Maybe we can get some shots, but definitely not a recommended piece to go diving, swimming in general. Be very careful with that. But yeah, if we're, if we're doing stuff like that, like you said, Aquanaut's literally perfect for a day like today just to jump in the water and this all around boat watch in general. I think it's probably your best bet. If you're not looking to spend upwards of 130K, Mark, what are what are some pieces that you would maybe recommend? Maybe that's not in the case. I'd, obviously, there's a Yacht Master from Rolex. I like that watch on Oyster Flex. Yacht Master on Oyster Flex, the Rhodium Dial Yacht Master, yeah. that kind of Miami blue hand. Mm -hmm. Switch it to a rubber strap. Yeah. That's a very boat 
on brand. Yeah, you it's a yacht mask. Submariner. 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 Just so ocean. Amazing, durable watches, great dailies, and then Submariner is like the best all around watch. Right? Best all for the yeah. money. If they're um, pretty much bomb proof, so. Yeah, go wrong with a Submariner. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, there's a lot of APs that also come on rubber straps too. Mm -hmm. They're a lot yep. lighter weight. And off off or, yeah. Of course, on brand too. All right, enough was said. I think that we're about ready to get going. So I think I'm going to pick out the 35 Americas. Wear this for the rest of the day. Don't jump in the water. Won't be jumping in the water, but we'll be styling this watch with this boat, 100%. All right, now we're gonna put this watch to the true test. Is it truly the Aquanaut? So we're gonna make sure. Remember this at home, folks. Screw in your crowns. This has happened quite a few times where folks would jump in the water with their Aquanauts and Daytonas with the crown open and then it breaks and they, they come back to me and they ask why their watch is broken. Ready, three, two, one. 